Hi, this is Dr. Amy Ludeman Lazar at Kidstown Dental again. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about something that we hear a lot, which is halitosis or dragon breath. Um, parents are constantly asking us questions. Why does my five-year-old or three-year-old or four-year-old or eight-year-old have this terrible breath sometimes? What I want to say first of all is that kids do not have bad breath for the same reasons that adults do. So it is not gum disease and it is not cavities. That's not why kids get bad breath. Is it possible for a child to have a gum infection or a dental infection that could smell really bad? Absolutely, but generally you're gonna see a huge swelling and it's gonna be very obvious if that's the reason. So if you have a kid who has pretty nice looking teeth and mouth, for the most part, even if they get little cavities here and there, and they have dragon breath in the morning, um, or dragon breath anytime during the day, it's not cavities and it's not gum disease. It's one of two things. So um, it can either be post-nasal drip, which is very common. So when the child is not clearing the maxillary nasal sinuses very well, and they just have this chronic post-nasal drip, usually they'll have enlarged tonsils or adenoids or both. And that just creates a situation where the breath smells really bad. Um, sometimes they might have chronic infections that you're aware of when they have post nasal drip or a hoarse throat or complain of a sore throat a lot, things like that. So that would kind of accompany a post nasal drip, but not always. Um, they may have chronic infections, ear infections, sinus infections, stuffiness, or just sound kind of junky when they're breathing. So that's not uncommon. So that's post nasal drip. The other thing that can be going on is what we call silent reflux. And often when I ask this question, parents will say, oh, he had reflux or colic as an infant, but it went away. And a lot of times it went away in such a way that they're not projectile vomiting anymore, but it actually really didn't go away. Um, reflux in kids is for lots of different reasons, but when they're real little in babies, it's from either taking too much air in from a not a not having a good swallow or a good seal on the breast or bottle. That's the most common reason, it's called aerophagia. The other reason for reflux is um, tongue posture. So the tongue is down and back and also growth and development. So tongue drives the growth and development of the face, jaws, and airways. When you swallow, the tongue fills the roof of your mouth and releases all of your sinuses and it releases your eustachian tubes, your, your ears. So that's a really important job of the tongue. Um, and then when you close, you should breathe through your nose, lips together and tongue up in the roof of the mouth and breathing like this. So if the tongue is resting in the middle or bottom of the mouth, it's sitting back in the airway. So in the profile, you have less airway space. Um, when you have a restriction up at the top and you go to sleep at night, it can become even more restricted or obstructed. That creates a negative pressure in the thorax. That negative pressure in the thorax causes all sorts of problems, but one of the common problems is it causes um, acid reflux. It causes acid from the stomach to reflux into the oral cavity. So that's one of the other main causes of really bad breath in children. I'm personally the type of provider that likes to get to the etiology or the root cause of things. So I would not recommend that you run and get your child on reflux medicines. You know, we know that reflux medicines cause more fractures in babies, and there's lots of other problems with reflux medicines, and they're not really tested on, on children. So what would be better is to find out why this child is having reflux, and it's usually, again, not the same reason as, as adults, such as eating really bad diet and poor foods and so forth, or stuffing ourselves. It usually has to do with tongue function. Again, it doesn't necessarily mean a tongue tie, but it just it may just be poor tongue function, and that's something that myofunctional therapy alone can help with. If there is a tongue tie, then you would want to get that fixed because you wouldn't be able to achieve the goals of myofunctional therapy and get the tongue up and out of the airway if there's a restriction. So I hope that's helpful. Um, dragon breath in kids is not because of cavities or gum disease. It's because of post-nasal drip or acid reflux, both of which are related to tongue function. The tongue is very important, and if we can correct tongue function with myofunctional therapy, if we can correct growth and development that has been restricted because of poor tongue function, and if we can correct a tongue tie, we should be able to get to the root cause of the issues and not have bad breath, not get those cavities from the acid reflux, and have beautiful development of the face, jaws, and airways. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any questions, please give us a call.